Hello there. What's new? Not a whole heck of a lot. I have had some distressing news that came my way that said that oh. beloved leader, military hero, and all-around good guy, Julius Caesar, is dead. Is that true? Yes, it's, it's true. There was a very, very popular piece of fiction about it, uh, a play by uh, Bill Shakespeare, the, the man who murdered Julius Caesar. Yes, it's true. It's, it's darn true. After said assassination of Julius Caesar, two of the main conspirators in that assassination, his friend Brutus and Cassius, the self-styled liberators and leader of a faction called the Republicans. Basically, these are guys who want to restore power to the Senate as opposed to the centralized power that the, the emperor or soon to be emperor was taking for himself have fled Italy. They uh, have taken control of the eastern provinces of the empire, all the way from Greece to Syria, and those allied eastern kingdoms that we've talked about in the past. In Rome, a new triumvirate has formed with Mark Antony, Octavian, who is the heir to Julius Caesar, and a third person by the name of Lepidus. And they control all the Roman army to the west. Uh, they've crushed the opposition of the Senate, and they have taken firm control over Rome itself. And one of their first tasks, of course, is to de destroy these Republican upstarts so they can get full control of the, the Roman Empire, and also to avenge Caesar's death. The three of them decided that Lepidus would remain in Italy, while the two main partners, Antony and Octavian, would go to northern Greece with their best troops to face down these Republicans. Meanwhile, these Republicans had spent months plundering the Greek city-states, swelling their war chest. They had gathered in Thrace with all the Roman legions that had been stationed in the Far East in all those eastern provinces. So they held the, the high ground along a road called the Via Ignatia. It's a road constructed by the Romans in 2nd century BC that basically crosses Macedonia and Thracia. Their location is two miles west of a, a city called Philippi, which is the first part of our battle tonight. The southern position of their location was anchored by some impassable swampland. On the north, they had impassable hills, so they were in a pretty good spot. Brutus positioned his camp to the north, by the hills, while Cassius was on the south, by the swamp. Antony arrived with his forces and positioned his army south of the road, while Octavian put his legions north of the road. And you can kind of see here on the map, they've tried to approximate that, of that sort of open area in the middle there is where the road, and still is, as a matter of fact. To this day, Antony tried to offer battle several times, but the Republicans were not lured into leaving their secure defensive positions. So Antony tried to secretly outflank the Republicans by building a causeway through the swamp to get some forces through. This maneuver was finally noticed by Cassius, who countered by moving part of his army south into the marshes and constructing a short wall to cut off Anthony's outstretched right wing. So this pretty much starts off the first battle in the F Battle of Philippi, which takes a place over the span of a couple of days, and we're going to break it up into two games this week and the next week. Once the battles took place, Anthony ordered a charge against Cassius, aiming straight at his fortifications between his camp and the marshes. At the same time, while all this is happening, on one side of the road, on the other side of the road, Brutus's soldiers are so provoked by all of this activity that they just charge into Octavian's forces without any command. We've seen this in the past with some of these Roman forces. Sometimes they just get so fed up, they just charge. This was unexpected by the Octavian forces, and so this was a complete success for Brutus's side of, of the battle. Octavian's troops were put to flight, pursued up to their camp, which was then captured by Brutus's men and then looted. Three of the Octavian legions lost their standards, which is always a, a 
signal of shame for a losing Roman legion. Octavian, however, was not found. He was not in his tent. In his writings, he said he saw a specter which warned him of defeat that day. He had already fled the battlefield. Meanwhile, back on the other side of the road, Antony has stormed Cassius' fortifications, demolishing the palisade and filling up the ditch that Cassius and Brutus had dug to defend their position on that side of the road. Easily takes Cassius' camp, which at this point is only defended by a handful of men. As Cassius' armies had advanced south to engage Antony's men and had gotten outflanked by the forces coming from the marsh, they tried to come back but were easily repulsed by the forces that had amassed there in, on the other side of the battlefield. So essentially, we come up to a, a draw here. One side of the road, the Republicans win. On the other side of the road, the Triumphant wins. Cassius lost about 8,000 men in this fight. Octavian lost twice as many. He had 16,000 casualties. But because this battlefield was so large and so dusty, it was hard to really take a measure of what had happened. So both wings were ignorant of the other's fate. Cassius, fearing that Brutus' side had lost as well, ordered one of his freemen to kill him. So he committed suicide, even though Brutus' side had actually won. Brutus avoided a public funeral for fear of the negative effects it might have on army morale and took control of Cassius' men. So basically, this first battle will, will end with both sides overextended and then returning to their original battle lines to fight again another day, which is what you will pick up for us next week. The second battle. Of Philippi. That is where we are then tonight, is what you're telling me. That is where we are. Fantastic. It. Well, as soon as I took a look at this setup, I was engaged for many reasons. One is there's just a lot of stuff on the map. I mean, between terrain and three sets of armies between the flanks. Just a, just a dearth of things to do. Uh, I've opened up the War Council here. This is Again, intriguing on many levels. One, it's an eight-banner battle, which is always going to be a fun unknown for you and I, because it could even go 20 minutes, it could go an hour and a half. We just never know. But what's interesting about this, I will start with the Republicans. I'll have Cassius and Brutus. I will have five command cards as uh, my strategy. And Peter will take the Triumvirate with Antony and Octavian and sad, unnamed uh, centurion leader over there on the left flank, which is a really cool setup to have them that far. That was that flanking part that you spoke of, and I'm really in, I'm I'm very intrigued by that uh, coming out of the swamp. So that's clearly something you've got to pay attention to. The triumvirate will actually get to move first. The only special rules tonight is uh, regarding those camps because in the when as you were telling the story, I'm like, oh, Antony went up. And Brutus came down, and they both just, in a Warner Brothers-esque cartoon, one took one fort, the other took the other fort, and then they swapped sides. That That's hysterical. If any unit gets into a camp of the opponent, of course, they take it uh, at the beginning of the owning player's turn, so almost immediately. So if Antony were to capture one of Cassius's two camps up there, or three camps, then at the beginning of the Republican turn, then instantly that will poof, disappear, and collect one victory banner for the person capturing it. The Julian Legions are in effect for both of us, because we're all Romans here, of course. And we've already got marked on the map the three hill hexes over there on the far right flank of the Triumvirate. Those are impassable. So I'm going to try something a little different tonight to add a little bit of this. I don't know if I'm going to continue to do this. You certainly tell us if you like this or not in the feedback, but I realize that you all never get to see Peter's cards. You never have an idea of what he's going to do until he plays it. I think I'm going to start doing the same thing. I'm going to take the card window here for, for player one for me, and I'm going to draw my cards 
off map. I'm going to pull this outside of the recording area so that you cannot see what cards I have until I play them. And that's going to add, hopefully, a little bit of mystery and intrigue for you gentle viewers. So if you like it, certainly tell us that in the, uh, in the feedback section there in the comments. If not, I'll go back and do it the way I had been doing it. Hello, these 80-something uh, scenarios that we've done so far. But uh, this, this should be fun, I think. But I'm ready to go. Okay, and okay. And I have my five cards. So, good luck to you. Good luck to you and your mystery hand. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Might as well start with a bang. Get some inspired left leadership going. So we're ordering those, even though I can get up to four linked hexes. Yeah, I figured that uh, that's probably the most likely soft target right out of the gate. All right, so one, two. Take advantage of that Julian Legion special rule. I'll move forward two. So the mediums won't be able to fight as they rush into position. But down here, Lights can certainly attack. Sure. Do so. Sure. All right. Two dice. And a flag that you can ignore. I shall ignore. And we'll give you two dice back. And the same exact die roll. Go, randomizer. Mm. Go. I cannot avoid. That's right. So you must take. All right. Well, this time, this group will be attacked with leader support. Same unit, two dice. Okay. Hey, hey look at that. See? It was perhaps, perhaps Octavia was not the only one seeing ghosts. <laughs> this is very. I think Brutus. I think Brutus saw ghosts too. They're very helpful during this battle. Yeah, or, or maybe it was during the second battle. Yeah. Well, no, apparently both times. Well, Octavian's ghost was helpful. Brutus's ghost, not so much. All right, All right two dice back. Nothing. And then this heavy unit will sort of a spear through the marshlands and score a leader hit, which does nothing when you're throwing. Mm -hmm. All right, so I am done. Let's do outflanked. Do those four. Well, and over there, with those horses. Mm -hmm. This one, this one only moved one, so he's going to throw a spear at yours. One die. Okay. An ignorable retreat. And that is all. That is intriguing. Line command. This block here. Right, so we'll start with this medium targeting across the rampart. Die. Nothing. Right. Attacking across the rampart with leader support. Lights, two dice. Wow. Hey, hey. very nice. We will, of course, get four back. Two hits in return. Hmm. Little tit for tat there. Try that again. Two dice across the ramparts. They just hit. hold on, baby. And we get uh, four dice in return. Uh, 
one hit. So, even Steven there. Three for three. Do leadership any section? Go. Cassius will come forth to meet the threat on the wall. All right. This one here first. <laughs> Four dice plus leader. Two hits. Two dice back. A leader hit. Okay. And this one will go to there. Four dice plus leader. Dice are not with me today. Well, so far it's been tit for tat, so don't say that. Well, with four dice and you're See? and you're getting See? one scrap. Yes. Tit for tat. Yes. One one. All right. That is all. Odds are even. Not really. All righty then. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play this. Start a custom roll five dice. Okay. So, all right. So, he will go up. He will go up. He will just attack. So, we'll start over here. Attacking those guys. Oh, so the one down here is. This is, is not was, is not okay. is not being activated. Gotcha. Okay. I could not de-click. There you go. You can. Yeah. All right. Just hi go just ahead. highlight it and shift control o or control O. That also works. Keyboard shut shortcut. Yes. Uh, bane of my existence. <laughs> can't click it. It can't be done. Mm -hmm. All right. Over here. Lights against lights. Two dice with leader support. Yep. Leader hit. Okay, two dice back. Ooh. Ooh. Double flag. Well, you have to take one of them. Oh, no, sir, didn't like that. <laughs> All right. Tacking along the flanks. Right. Do not get the bonus to avoid the flag or sword hits. Correct. Four dice. Two hits. I get back four plus leader. Ah, come on, man. These guys will follow up going across now, the bed. Don't, uh, don't forget your Spartacus. I fear you may oh, be forgetting your Spartacus. I have been forgetting my Spartacus. Yes. You're so right. Yes, we forget that all Thank the time. You. Yes. So we do. We get so excited. So all right. So this is for the lights. One die. Okay, so that will, the leader that hit. will take care of mine. That would have wiped them out. Right, so I would not so. have gotten yes. So go ahead and take your two back. Hey, control back. R, yeah. But control R. Uh, there. Okay. okay. So yes, officially then they were wiped out. All right. So this. So this is this medium unit here. Their additional die. Also a leader hit, which does nothing, so that stands as is. So now this last one here, four with five dice going across the rampart. Ooh, I get to ignore both of those. You get to ignore them both. Wow. There's a big old whiff. All right, so four dice back with leader. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that Spartacus thing. That, that was now... Yeah, I like my last card better. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this is. Uh, I really like that card, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I'm Spartacus. So I will get my five dice, and I get two, two greens and a blue. Not too helpful. Do those three. Now that a fortified camp. Yep. 
so he's going to go to there. One fewer die when you're rallying out. So only one, be one die for you. But I'll get the plus one for Spartacus. So we'll still... That's true. So it kind of evens out. Mm. So it's going to go there. All right. So. Can't help but think that you must have some sort of mounted charge card. That, that's why you're, you're bringing these, this cavalry up to the fore. Ah, pshaw. All right. We're going to target them with two dice because of the offset. Yes. So what would they like to do? What would they like to do? I think they'll stand. Okay. So here's two dice coming at them. That is a retreat. Okay. This one will go after them. And they will have four dice. And they cannot do anything, so here's four dice. They get a hit. One hit. They will advance and battle again. Four dice again. They are not going to advance because they can't do the second advance and plus one. So they'll just stop there. And then these guys will throw spears at them. They moved, so they'll only get one, but they'll get another one because of Spartacus. So two dice. And getting nothing. Right, that is. I'm going to officially shuffle the deck and draw. Okay. Activate two in the center. Oh, before you do that, let me. I forgot to hit. There you go. Two in the center. What would that cavalry like to do? We will evade. Four dice. One hit on the way out. Okay, Anthony is going to attack across the ramparts. We've we'll got those uh, mediums with five dice. With your support. Here we go. That'll do. Got the one hit I need. Would you like to climb <laughs> the wall and... Indeed, Anthony shall indeed climb the walls. I think I should press the attack while I'm hot. Go after Cassius himself. Five dice. Here we go. Five dice. Go for it. Four hits. Got it. Cassius? Oh, he lives long enough to go kill himself. <laughs> All right. Well, this is kind of a pickle. What do I do now? I'll do three in the center. Horseplay. Uh, perhaps some horseplay. So we're going to go there. One, two, three to there. Okay. We'll start here. Let's see if we can't score some hits on that light there with three dice plus leader bonus. Get one, just one. One. Okay, come back at you with two dice and leader bonus. One. Okay, and these guys will go after Anthony on the wall with four dice. 
There we go. Three hits. Ooh, nice. And here. Ouch. A leader check on Mark Antony. He's fine. Five dice back at you. At their at the cost of their lives. So, that was that was brutal. Okay. And then here, we'll go after these auxilia with three dice. Can't do anything. I'm getting two hits. Take two hits. Come back at you with three. Mm. Two hits. And back to where they come from. All right. Guess we'll just do this. Three on the right. Those three. Spear. More flag. So here we go. First spear. Oh. Hey. And Brutus. We have to roll with some red squares. Mm -hmm. All right. Another spear. Do leadership any section? Start with here. And actually, he's going to throw it against them. So, one die coming out of the camp. Nothing. And then here, Cassius will engage the lights with four dice plus leader bonus. Scolding a kill! Come forth and attack again. Hoping there's not a first strike. Here we go. Four dice plus leader. That would be great. No. Oof. Punishing Anthony. Here's one die for Anthony. He's okay. And that is all. How about the cavalry? They, uh, there's nothing for them to attack now because they, they don't throw any spears. Ah, oh, then they didn't move. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well. Well, 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 well. Some medium troops in That's battle. That's a pretty great card. This. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, so let's get the party started. Those four against Cassius with leader support. Two hits. Two hits. And a retreat if you want to take it. Well, let's check that leader hit first. He's fine. And I will take it. Okay. Anthony to attack that cavalry. You'd like to do? Evade. Okay, four dice. A triangle. Got two. There you go. One spear, Cassius. Nothing. Meanwhile, down here, attacking those lights across the ramparts. Three dice. Wow. Well, you can ignore one of the swords. Ignore one. That's right. Two hits and then two dice back. My goodness. Where's Come on. An elephant we Where's a couple one. flags when I need them? Ah, nothing. That would have been the perfect elephant. Mm. All right. I 
have to do a double time. Double time. My block of four. Ooh, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Goodness. Okay. Go against the other auxilia here with four dice plus leader bonus. Scoring a kill. Keeping it tight. Go against this one. Five dice. Ah. Just draw. Okay. Just took it. Just took it. Of course you did. All right, Brutus. Here you go. Here's four dice with leader support in your face. <sighs> At oh, two, Brute. Just two. Hooray. No. Move that card. Get out of the way. All right. Two hits. Check that leader. Okay, he lives. All right, so five dice plus leader bonus. Oh, God. Right. Uh, here. Or nope. No, you did. Together. Yeah, you you got yours already. <laughs> <First>. <laughs> All right. All right. Another four plus leader bonus. There we go. Hit. Oh, there you go. Two. Take a hit. Two retreats. I'll right, retreat back to my camp. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And we will move into that space. Uh, and then here. Four dice against Octavian. Oh, if they don't have a first strike card yeah. now, so. Two hits. Here's a, a swing at young Octavian. He's fine. Okay. So you get five back. Ooh. Oof. Okay, two hits. One for them hills. And one, two, and three. You've been reassigned to camp duty. That's fine. We're all fine. Okay, so you draw your card first. Not that it matters. And then I'll draw mine. And end the turn. Bloody. Indeed. Indeed. Well, I think I have to do this now. Mountain charge. Yeah. I, I saw that coming. Like, telegraphed. Miles and miles away. Don't forget you got more. Oh, yeah. Uh... Okay. okay. So we'll do this one first. Attacking Brutus from behind. Safety of the ramparts. Three dice. Four dice, because I'm undercharged. Right. Here we go. Okay. So that's going to eliminate the block. Check the leader. Okay. Now he has to has go to through. Obey. Um he will evade to here. Okay. I, am I rolling four dice for this now, or just three? Um, I believe it is. It says for the entire turn, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you have it. Okay, four dice. <sighs> okay. Who just lives? Falls back to there. I will advance. Go plus one. Go again. Four dice now of leader support against those mediums. Scoring two hits. Okay, here's four back. Yes. Ooh. Wiping them out. Okay, going against that cavalry there with four dice. Huh? So those mediums there with four dice. Ooh. Whiff. All right. 
Okay, keeping it close. Four dice back. Oh! oh. Wiping them out! Game is tied. Goodness gracious me. All right, here we go for all the marbles. Probably don't want to do this, but here we go. Four dice with your support. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's a chance. There's a chance. Right. Four dice coming back at you. Oh, nope. He's fine. Wow. <sighs> wow. Good game. Good game. Well, it ain't over yet. Ah. You just gotta kill one block. You're not looking at my cards. No one's looking at your cards. You've got them hidden. Mm -hmm. How can our viewers armchair general you? That's right. One day we should figure out how to record from my end. And we can do the game from my perspective. That way I can see the hand of direct that I've had all game. Quite possibly the most difficult choice I've ever had to make in this game. And speaking of Drek, I mean, I'm looking at Direct times five. I mean, they're not all bad, but... I don't know what you let's do. Let's do the line command. Okay. Line command. All right. Who's it going to be? It's going to be these guys. It's going to be those guys. Oh. Okay. Doubling down. Well, let's see. So, we're going to try to attack into the camp there. So... With camps, you get okay. to, again, ignore a sword and a flag. So here's four dice into the camp. It's a sword, so I'll ignore it. I should have done the other one first. Should have. Yeah. So here's three dice coming out of the camp. Yeah. Stupid. So stupid. Let, let me just see what... Uh, so I, let me let the way back here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's let's do the way back. All right, okay. Let's do that, and we'll go. Patrick being smart, he'll go there, and we'll attack this one first. And I'll do four dice there. See what that is. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. All right. So, but that was not to be. I did it stupidly. So, good game. Good game. Stupid. I ah, I hate when I just whiff on stupidity. I just didn't think that one all the way through. I was like, oh, he's in a camp, and then, yeah, the sword. So, good, good one, man. That was great. I started the game with so many right cards, but I did not want to go against those mediums and heavies protected by the rampart. So that's why I was trying to do things on my left flank, and I just, the left card just immediately dried up. Man, that's going to bug me all, all week. Not only in the next game, but the fact that I did that and I should have gone with, oh, the, the four. You know, I just didn't even think about, oh, right, he's going to get a counterattack. Stupid. That's what you should have done, and that's what you would have done. So mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. No. You won, yeah. you won the game. Um, but what I have left is a move, fire, move. Not helpful. Uh, four units on the left. Mm, not helpful at this point. I had a rally, which I was waiting all game to use, but every time I was setting up for it, and I had a really good cluster of people around Cassius or Brutus, you scattered the leaders away. So the rally, in this case, I almost did it, but I was like, well, I'm going to roll five dice and probably get no blue try. Well, uh, nothing's around a leader that would have helped, so I could have regenerated Cassius, but that would not have gotten me a, a victory at this point. Well, he would have been my target if you had whiffed on this. I have two line command right. cards, so it was just going to be, yeah. you know... I'm happy to keep it close. I'm unhappy that I just made a poor choice, which un is my undoing in every game. If it's not the dice, it's uh, just that one critical error. So I, I should have probably done the counterattack, brought Brutus down on a horse, and on that but oh well Celebi let us uh, let us take five and we'll be right back and we are back for round two of Philippi part one that one was pretty pretty damn tight I gotta say pretty that. tight yeah pretty tight and honestly that was your game 
Well, oh. yeah, I appreciate that, but uh, you even know. though you're going to record it as as a loss, <laughs> you you won that. I, I'm always happy as I go on record saying each and every time I for an eight banner battle game, I love when they're seven eight. You know, that's we we hope it keeps it exciting and interesting for you folks, but it also keeps. I mean, it keeps us on the edge of our seat, which I like. But we'll see how this one goes. So I... I will take control of the Republicans. Okay, and I will take the Triumvirate. I will draw my five cards first. I have my five cards. They're still off screen, or they can't be seen. Yes. What mysteries. Okay. Well, good luck right. once again. Good luck. Let's see if we can't keep it as tight. Going to do a move, fire move. Ooh, that's interesting. Certainly have enough lights to do something, but yeah, we'll do that. So okay. these three here will just be standing and firing. So stand, fire, stand. Yes, and these two will move forward. All right, we'll start here with, we see Brutus on the ramparts, and we'll take a pot shot with one die. Ooh! Ooh! You have proven that that is effective, and John McClintock, you were right. I, I will just put that out there. He said he has finished all 83 of our videos up to this point, and he wondered why I always took pot shots on the edges trying to get the flank retreats and he says why not take it at the leader because you may get a hit so here's a check on brutus that's what i always do oh, i know you do here's brutus yeah, wrong two symbols that's fine all right these auxilia will throw at brutus as well Ooh! look at that see never doubt the scotsman all right two dice checking on brutus again ah Boy. Boy, howdy. Okay. Uh, Good. Get those red squares out of your system now. That's right. We'll do uh, this one here against yours on there. Two dice. Oh, send them packing. <laughs> now. Okay. These two dice first. Getting a hit. Two again. Getting another hit. That was some effective ranged fire. Mm -hmm. For the second one, they will move one, two to there, taking the rampart. Uh, they will come back to here, and they will come back to the camp. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Cassius and those three adjacent linked hexes. Get off my wall. We will evade. Okay. Four dice with leader support. But that's inconsequential now. And I must evade into the swamp. So I'm going to roll one die. Here's the one die. They're fine. Since you showed how effective it will be, here's a spear in the face for you. Oh. Hear the hamster wheel squeaking over there. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty bad, without a doubt. Okay, let's do. I knew when I saw this scenario, I just knew that it would be one that if I didn't think my way all the way through it, I would make stupid mistakes. <laughs> all right, two in the center. These 
guys will throw at your medium cavalry two at the wall. Nothing. And then these guys will throw or will attack. Horses on the wall? How ridiculous! Three dice. Horses do not get that benefit. Uh, let's double check that. Uh, ramparts. Yeah, units receive no protection. That's correct. So. All right. So uh, they will advance. Move one. Attack these lights here. What would they like to do? Band. Okay. So here's three dice. Just one hit. Nothing. Okay. You just can't not do it. It's it really is. It's Chekhov's charge. It, it is. Glad we just get it out of your system now. Before they do a lot of, lot of damage. How do, I, how do I get that backwards? Hack. Target. Alright, here we go. Four dice against your cavalry. A retreat. Mm -hmm. How's that then? Anticlimactic. Do a coordinated attack. Mm. One unit in each section. Yep. Yeah, that's an interesting choice. What will they do? Yep. Saw that coming. lights. Mm -hmm. What'd they ever do to you? <laughs> Alright. Oh, I see what you're doing. Rude. Let's start here with the lights. Don't do it. One die of Brutus. Don't do it. Oh! oh. They did it! And here's two dice to check. It to Brute. Oh, close. Uh, we will go three dice against these lights here on the wall. I'll stand. Oh, they had to. Yeah, they had to stand. So they'll ignore that sword. Mm -hmm. Fight back. Ooh. Send you back. Back! And then big dogs. Right here. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I figured. Ah. One. One hit. Rude. And no, this would be rude. Ah. Oh. We're gonna do five. Wow, that, was set, that was a perfect setup for that leader kill. Five dice plus leader bonus. Bogus. Three hits. And go ahead and draw your card. And I'll draw mine. Time to rally. Of course it is. Hmm. Two for Brutus. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all I can do. You can throw a spear now or move him out. Get off my lawn! <laughs> we'll do... Three on the right. You're gonna do it again, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. 
Let's start with the two. Two dice. Ooh. Oh, I saw a Spectre oh. too. <laughs> All right. We just did see a ghost. All right, Ghost of Caesar. Oh, one die. You may even oh. say it was. Damn. Great Caesar's ghost. Uh huh. <laughs> and one more die. Ah, oh, nothing. Okay. Right, we're done with this. Four dice and leader against those lights. What would they like to do? They shall evade. Four dice against those mediums with leader support. One hit. One hit. Four back. Punishing. I'll say. Five dice from Brutus. Same target. That'll do. That will do. Brutus. Take advantage and press his luck and get himself killed. Five dice against those mediums. One hit and two retreats. Can't take one, one of them, so. Two. All right. Let's see how overexposed I've left myself. Will Octavian sally forth? Yes. Uh, sure about that? Could have a first strike card. Mm -hmm. Never know. Never know. You don't want to do that. Saying. <laughs> All right. Uh, Going right for the jugular, huh? All right. Five dice plus leader. Better hit. I'll hit. There's one for Brutus. Brutus falls. We'll advance, attack that one. Five dice plus leader. Or, yeah, five with leader. Yeah, I knew it was a mistake leaving that rampart. And then do three with leader over here. Two hits and a retreat. He will advance, come back. Try it again. Three dice. Leader. You can ignore one of those swords. And that is all. Wow. That looked rough. Four dice of leader against those heavies. Okay. Uh, one hit. One hit. Let's see what happens to that leader. He's fine. So you can ignore both of those flags if you want. And I shall. I will do five back with leader. Forcing them away. Oh, you're going to take them both, of course. Yes. Your prerogative. Clearing the way for a spear from Cassius. All right. Speaking of spears. Oh, 
dumb. Two dice. Okay. Five back with the leader. Two and a hit, uh, two and a retreat. Three dice, hill to hill. <laughs> Duh! Duh! Uh, two back with leader. That's the roll I needed a minute ago, horse. Ah! Nothing. I think it's time to darken the sky. Terrible. Guys, here. All right. Let's start with this one here. One die first. Miss. Second die. Miss. That's it. That's a shame. All right. Um, we'll go here. One die. Nothing. One die. From here, two dice. Ooh, double flag. I'll ignore one of them and just go back one. Okay. And you can ignore both because you are supported. So. Oh yeah, I'll ignore them both. Okay. And then another two dice. I will mock you a second time from the rampart. <laughs> Taunt me a second time. Two dice. All right. And then uh, these guys, same target. Two dice. One hit. Ugh. And one more volley. Eliminating them. All right. Wow, this is certainly a different game. Making up for your mistake, aren't you? My father was a woman. Man. Spear. And you actually get two spears from there. Oh, I do. I got spear. I'll take it. Spear through the swamp. Two on the right. Do three dice on the wall plus leader bonus. Two hits. All. Five dice on Centurion. Press the right. That'll do it. And Centurion lives. Up the hill with three dice. Uh, two, isn't it? Two uphill, three downhill, and hill to hill. Oh, yeah. Two uphill. <sighs> then, no, I'm not going to do that. Throw a spear, though. Uh, okay. Three dice, hill to hill. I'm going to evade that. OK. 
Okay. Okay, and I need to do a check in the swamp. We're okay. I'm going to activate medium troops. Those five. This go there. He'll go there. He'll go there. Go. All right. So we'll go three down the hill here to Cassius. Getting one hit. Okay, two uphill. Okay, one hit. Hit. All right. So he's going to go there. Three dice plus leader. And you can ignore that. I will. I'll fight back with two. Take Ooh. Three. All right. Oh, you were supported. Boo. Um, okay, we'll do this one again. Three dice. No leader this time. This is where the wheels go. The lightning the strike. Yep. You're fine. All right. Can throw a spear, but it's still not helping me much. One die at them. Nothing. All right. That was a whole lot of crap. Let us move on. See I'm just going to move two. I'm going to give you those units. I'm going to make it work for them. Yeah. Well, I missed my golden moment. Two on the right. Octavian will step up. He will attack the wall with five dice plus leader. Bre breach the wall, yeah. Well, full full measure. Alright. Um, they will then attack there with four dice. Five dice with leader bonus. I missed one. So five dice plus leader. Three hits. Four dice back. Two hit. Oh, one hit. One hit. Okay. And a leader check. He's fine. And then... Medium cavalry, same target, three dice plus leader. And go after this one here, three dice plus leader. Hit and retreat. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. See? <laughs> See? You can do it when you when you keep when you put your mind to yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Oh, wow. This is uh Yeah. I find this seems to be a pattern with us. The first game really knotted up. Like my shoulder right now. It's very knotted up. And then... I just didn't have any I just didn't have any cards. And, and I foolishly took the bait and left the rampart. And you were just brutal, just wiping out all four of those units like that. Yeah. That was just rough. It's really hard sometimes when I when I want to do the after action, when you and I are just like, uh, I think we're just mentally fatigued to the point where it's like, what do you, what do you, what are the nuances of this one? What did we like? What did we dislike? And it's, it's hard, you know, because you, I don't, I, I this is not a balanced scenario though. That rampart's not balancing anything. I don't think, I mean, just, just having those guys up on that right flank for the triumvirate is so scary, especially with a heavy being in there. Yeah. That heavy is, that's just scary. But you'll notice that uh, I was bereft of left flank cards the whole time. As, as was I, yeah. so... But. So I could not exploit it the way I wanted to, which was, hey, look, there's three units at one block, which we've seen before. 
So everything in this game was saying go right or center. And it, went, it shifted from all right cards to, uh, I think I got the, the mediums at one point, which I used for the cavalry, of course. I have order lights right now, and the dark in the sky was helpful, but that was still kind of plinky. Uh, but now my, but he- my remaining three-fifths of my cards are center, center, center. So I needed to pull Octavian and just make a push at some point here. Either that or get Anthony moving, but there was all those lines, all those units in his way, and I was just that's a lot of shuffling. So, yeah, this one, uh, I mean, I I like it for being eight banners. It's just, uh, it's a good set piece battle. But you're right that having that specter, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> having that that centurion with the triumvirate, a potent force there, uh, just above the swamps. That's I mean, you went right for for it at the beginning of when I was the Republicans, and all I could do was, like, y- y- yikes and away and try to pull back a little bit. That was really my goal in all of this was to how, not knowing, of course, how uh, belligerent you were going to be about it, but I thought if I could just pull back, especially on that side, and just prevent you from having any targets, that was the goal. And it worked a little bit, and then I ran out of anything that I could do. Those lights, you know, are just in the way up there. So, uh, yeah, I I mean, the Rampart saved your bacon on one or two, but... Sure. Yeah, but by me getting that, uh, what was it that I... Oh, when I ran the light up there and I took the Rampart, because you had pulled him down off of there to come assault that, yeah. Well, final score on this one, uh, Peter took the first one 8-7, to seven, and then uh, I took this one 8-2. Uh, so, uh, final score, I have 15, and Peter has 10 for the night for the series. And that takes us on the road to Flippy Part 2. The Boogaloo, as it were. Um, well, we hope you've enjoyed this once again uh, here on the plains of Flippy And we hope you will join us next time. Please take a moment to click that like and subscribe button. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. We hope we've entertained you. Don't forget that notification bell helps too, because when I drop these, then you get a little pop-up on your phone or wherever you got YouTube installed. And it says, hey, there's a new Commands and Colors out. And we hope you'll enjoy that one too. Uh, I'm showing you our current supporters. Thank you to all of our supporters. If you want to contribute monetarily, there's a link there, but please do not feel obligated. What else? Anything? Well, if it's not just Command and Colors, but you also play Combat Commander and American Civil War games yes. on your channel, too. Yes, I do. And uh, we're going to have some new and additional series content here, I think, in the near future. we got some, some irons oh. in the fire, as it were, so uh, keep, oh. keep a watch out for that. Yeah, some of them may even include my esteemed opponent over here. We don't. Oh. We, we don't know if you're going to agree all, yet. <laughs> all these surpri- all these surprises tonight, man. First, you're not showing your cards to people. Uh, right. I didn't. I didn't know about that, folks. That came as a surprise to me. I was a little worried what he was talking about there for a second. That's right. Oh, and here's yeah, your but... surprise coupon for Root Canal tonight. No. Uh, no. Well, <laughs> well, I should say that. Oh no. Uh, I hope you're going to nah, be okay. That bad. Oh, that's good. No, it's not that bad. It's not castaway bad, right? That's good. Take a moment there and, and, yes, opine down in the feedback section because I want to hear if you guys enjoyed the mystery of not being able to see my hand in this one, if it added or subtracted from the experience. But that being said, sir, uh, have a great week. I look forward to next week's games, and uh, we hope you all will join us there for part two. Take it easy, sir. Good night.